Welcome back to the channel. Here is a Audi A3 Sportback. I bought this from Audi. They phoned me and said, we've got an Audi. Are you interested? It needs a clutch and gearbox. I said, yeah, I'll have it off you. 170 quid, got it for. So, bargain. Well, the colour's grey. It looks a little bit purple to me, but it's apparently it's grey. The wheels need a good clean up. The rear bumper needs a few scratches in that. That might come out though too deep. The only bit of damage on it is uh, a little scuff here, which shouldn't be too hard to blow in, really. Yeah. Nice little car. Right, let me just start it up and show you what the actual issue is. There's no lights on the dash, like warning lights about the gearbox or anything, which is a bit unusual. But it does select all the gears. As you can see, it ticks over lovely. Little rev there. So if I select the gears, we're going to all the gears, no problem. It's just when you put your foot on the accelerator, go it won't go but if you leave it for like five ten minutes it builds up a little bit of pressure and then it will move not very far but it will move so I think it's the uh, was it mechatronics pump hydraulic pump inside the gearbox which are pretty simple to remove on these it's just seven bolts so I'm gonna get in the workshop Lift it up, and we'll have a quick look. Just pulled the uh, the Audi into the workshop. If you remember, I can select all the gears, no like, dash lights on or anything, just scanned it, and it's come up with this. So I've just brought it in and the part that I need is behind here, it's inside here. So I just need to undo these bolts around, take this off, take the cover off and have a look and I think you can get these, um, you can send them away to get them done or you can actually buy the part. I'll take it apart, see what it all looks like and then uh, go from there. I thought it was going to be the clutch. So I'm glad it's not. It's definitely this, because if you leave the engine running for about 10, 15 minutes, it builds up a little bit of pressure, so the car does actually move in the gears. Well, as you can see, I've taken the black cover off now. Now this part up here is a part that fails apparently. Those two codes you had on the scanner indicate it's this. You could buy these off eBay, German, about 120 quid with the oil, new seal and stuff. So I'm going to take this out. I've had to order a new tool. It slides up here to push these two forks out the way. It goes like this, twist it, pulls out of the way, then this will come off square. It is on four forks behind here, so it's got to come off straight really. But yeah, I need to take this off so I can inspect the casing because apparently it's quite weak around the top where this screws into. So just want to make sure there's no hairline cracks so it's losing pressure. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that is the part. If it is that part, well, it'd be pretty good if it is that part. Considering Audi said it needed a gearbox and clutch, which would have been thousands and thousands of pounds because obviously they put new stuff in there. Right, stay tuned. Right, here's the part that you get. This insert goes inside the other insert, like so. Make sure it's a good seal in the bottom. Because that's um, if that's a bit uneven, it won't seal properly. Right, I've just put the new part inside. I forgot to video it, but it's inside there, all done. So all, all the oil's topped up. I pulled all of these in and out to get all the air out. The only hard job now is lining up these four. One, two, three, four with the actual forks. Well, the forks here, 
There's one, those bits have got to slide in that one, that one, that one, and that one. So it's got to go on square. I've put this Allen key here just to push this back a little bit because the tool still hasn't arrived. And so these keep the forks for the clutch just keep pushing back right on the way. So I'm waiting for an, a seal, an oil seal for this one. That's going to be delivered today. Goes around here. Here's the old one. It was very, yeah, not very good. So I thought I'll replace that. It's only like 13 quid delivered. So you might as well. Right, so when it's all here, I'll throw it in there and hopefully, fingers crossed, the gearbox will go into gear and move. I've just got a touch up paint for here. I'm just give it a light sand just to get the lacquer off. Touched up as you can see there. So I'm going to give that another light sand when it's dry, a little bit of lacquer, then buff it up and hopefully it's going to come up nice. Hopefully. Right, put the mechatronics unit back in there now. And it's all working perfect. I'll just show you. You know what it's like before. Starts up, goes into gear. I threw it up and down the road a few times in sport mode. A lot of power. And uh, not too bad. I've got this DPF light on at the moment. Got to get rid of that. There you go, it's all working. Very pleased, very easy job to do. Um, so Audi, it didn't need a gearbox or a clutch. Right, I've just come back from the MRT station. I found on two headlight bulbs which are loose, two anti-roll bar drop links, and a little bit of rust on the rear anti-roll bar, which isn't too bad, so I want to get that sorted. And also it's got full service Audi history as well with it, which I just noticed. So that's pretty good. Okay, well thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up and a like. Thanks for watching.